take off your coat. You're not most, but we're not actors. <laughs> yeah, what is it? It's the box set of the first box. Box. studio records. First, is it vinyl? Yes. Yeah, take like, there's 12 and people in California. <laughs> and you can't that wait. Was, Here you go. This is the the box set mm. of your first five studio records. I haven't seen this. That's nice. Look. Yeah. It's a picture of me on it. <laughs> is that you, really? Rumble, young man, rumble. Wow, this is yeah. heavy. Five LPs. That's really one of the reasons vinyl <laughs> kind of disappeared there for a while. <laughs> Beautiful though. Wow, 68, 70. Oh, I noted a general slowing pattern. 72 is <laughs> two years apart, two years apart. Two years, oh, three years. Became nine. <laughs> oh, that's great. You should, you should, Many hours of listening it, pleasure. It, 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 Open. Open. Oh. We've seen these. You know, this Horner, this Horner arrangement came as a complete surprise to me. I heard it. either I forgot or no one told me. No one told you. Really? Oh, no. I think we told you. You just didn't want to show up. So the, the single is a, it's a bonus for the people that get the box set. I'll say. And two tracks from Sail Away, but not the album track. They're going to have to rush out and buy one of those 45. <laughs> yeah, 45 yeah. adapters. Last night I had a dream. Wow, is that a terrible record? <laughs> we couldn't stop you. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> five, I, five. I always, I got a lot of credit, you know, and we got a lot of credit for making uh, albums that were completely, you know, <laughs> our own and we didn't let anything bother us. And no, the public and the record company would be damned. But I was, I was always re trying to react to the public. It's just that I, I was shitty at it. <laughs> and this thing, it wasn't just one electric guitar, you know, it was we did a record that sort of didn't rock too hard, I guess. And uh, so we had like three or four. Three I or mean, four. no one ever did that. Yeah, just, to, just for the fun of it, to make it as big as we could. Yeah, then it sounds like it's coming out of a toilet. <laughs> Second cover line. Yeah, thank you. That, that got it. That was, <laughs> we had, <laughs> there were two covers on it. The first oh one. Oh my God. First I was like standing in it. Randy Newman, Under the Sun. My wife dressed me, I think. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> uh, and my dad said, You look like Cement Man. <laughs> <laughs> like I, had, I had moved in a long time and wasn't going to. <laughs> With art? I didn't find out till later. That it was really, I knew that the reviews were good on it, but I didn't know that it was so highly thought of, like, you know, like my best record, some people thought, I guess, you know? He called me up 15 years after the fact, right? Because yeah. it wasn't easy to do. And said, geez, 12 songs is really great. I yeah. Said, geez, I wish you so would have called 15 years ago. So did the, you know, there's no, no real crap on any of these, it doesn't look like. <laughs> no fillers. No, yeah. it's just, but I think about this now as it was tough to sign for people. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do it on the hands. If you listen to people or, and take it seriously, you should take the praise seriously also. But people will come to me and say, Jesus, I love the arrangement on Marie. And it's the one song, you know, I didn't do so. I, oh, well, that's nice. He was a good guy. And you, that was you the know, one song you did. The arrangement on that, yeah. <laughs> it was I, two I didn't do. And uh, that and Roland. Huh. Well, you can hear them on the record. The Huey Long song, Every Man a King. Every Man a King. It says, Every Man a King. Every Man a King. For you can be a. It says, Millionaire. And I look at that thing. Millionaire. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Ele right. An elocution lesson. I said, I said, who's doing that? <laughs> I was trying to date it. You know, the song was written in 19. You know, whatever. really? Yeah. Because that does. That's the. It's like the guys who sit down old Broadway. Yeah. <laughs>
mil playing on the old banjo. <laughs> Yes, so, you know, it was written in 1930-something. <laughs> George M. Cohan. <laughs> uh, what was really amazing, I don't know if you remember that, I'm sure you do, we were watching Nixon resign. And we went through that whole thing. Yeah, we were in the right, studio. Yeah, and then we went, and once he resigned, it was over, and walked out to the piano and did this, every man a king. Oh, no, he did Mr. Preston. It was the same day, wasn't it? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, uh, I, I, I just, I remember us doing... Uh, I remember, yeah, and you were resigned and I was pissed off. You were pissed. I thought the song would be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President would be hurt by Nixon being out there. I wasn't, I wasn't really pissed off. I, <laughs> but I thought it was just amazing luck. <laughs> The two things I remember, uh, the one was uh, short people. We did the track and it came so quickly. Yeah. And it was, it was locked in, it was just good. You know, the players got it immediately. Yeah. That's always a good sign. That always tells you something's going on. I remember saying that we were asked to uh, send something to Miami for a WE convention and um, I said, let's send them short people. We'll find out real quick if those guys, if those anybody lasts down there. Mm -hmm. You're talking about sales guys, and, and, <laughs> pardon me, sales guys, but sales guys and, and uh, even radio people, whatever. They were, it was a gigantic convention for we. So Randy did a, a, a rough vocal, and at the end of it, because he was shooting it, he just looked and went like that to the camera. <laughs> And then we, we said, okay, let's see what happens, send it down. The next thing we know, it was like an explosion. Everybody started to laugh and whatever. And I thought, oh, shit. Really? Yeah. And I remember well, I calling know, you and saying, yeah. you know, um, the kind of response we got, and just the kind of feel and vibe of the song, um, I think it's in the ballpark. And I said, I know you're going to hate this, but... You know, our love will keep us together. I just heard that, Captain Tennille. And were, uh, I said, that might be a blueprint about how to make it more of a pop record. And you said, I love Captain Tennille. We'll do it for sure. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I love will keep us together. Yeah. The fancy record. Yeah, so this is the 10th yeah. anniversary of Record Store Day. Wow, that's nice. It's the biggest day for independent retailers. And it's probably the biggest day for... Uh, definitely vinyl fans all over the country and music fans. No kidding. Absolutely. Well, that's great. So, anything that you'd like to say to that crowd? Because there's something about vinyl, boy. I'm telling you, I, I have a, a a bad feeling in myself that some quality was is lost. Uh, I mean, I don't know. They must do comparisons and things like that. When I do, when I've done it, listen to vinyl after a long time and not hearing it and then play the same thing in the CD, it's easier to listen to somehow. I know the strings are better in, on vinyl. There are great things about the digital and, and all that stuff, but I, I, I think maybe things don't sound quite as good. I, I mean, it's terrible to think that progress doesn't always bring progress. It, uh, some, I think something was lost. Yeah. You? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You just definitely? Uh, oh. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I wonder, you know, it's a, a subjective thing when you listen to the vinyl and you listen to the CD. I, you know, I try not Certainly to... something's lost with streaming. I mean, you lose oh, generation. Boy. It's a whole other issue. Yeah. But uh, um, I, try not to, I tried not to get too nuts over vinyl versus uh, digital until you hear them back to back and then um, you know you've lost something. Oh, shit. I didn't know but, you felt that way. Well, I, you know, I'm not a big, I, I just like to move well, forward. Yeah. What are you but then do? the fact that final is in, in, a, in a way is coming back, uh, it's, it's such a, a healthy thing. It makes you feel like there are true music fans uh, that uh, that really yeah. care, and a lot of them are out there, and that's 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 great. It's great for artists, and it's it's 
great for uh, record companies who pay attention.